let us let us do this. Well, this is great. This is why I love Cloud Imperium. They're super, super transparent. They don't have to share these financials with us. And I would like to say that I think our channel and our community had a very big part in them posting this on their website. Because as we know, in England, or some of you may not, when they're posting their taxes, it's all public record and it's and you can see it at company's house. So you can see, and in 2020, SIG really posted a very big profit for the very first time. Now they've posted profit before, but not very, very much so. And I've always been on them on the financials that they need to start posting income. They need to start posting a profit. And they did on the financial, on the company's house side of things in the UK in 2020. Now we were saying, well, what's it going to be like stateside? Have they posted a profit? And yes, they actually posted a profit on the United States side of things, which is also very positive for 2020. And the numbers were actually very, very um, impressive. Um, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to show you. I mean, like if you can see here, the total pledges and income amount. I mean, the pledges were... I mean, the total was 88 million for 2020. And you can see it just completely blew away 2019, where they reported 60.7 million. In 2020, they, 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 I mean, Jesus, that is a crazy, crazy increase. That is over 30%. That is easily over 30%. Where are we at here? That's, that's 40% increase. That is, um, that is like literally over a 40% increase in the total amount of revenue they brought in. But that does not mean they recorded a profit, okay? Just because they bring in more revenue doesn't mean that they've recorded a profit. But they did. They did because I looked at this ahead of time. Um, the subscriptions are up to $4.6 million from $3.6 million. Um, and then they report the other income. Not quite sure what other income is. Uh, partnerships and their partnerships and others actually went down probably because they're paying people out who were previously partnered uh, for whatever it is that they're in that for in that column, possibly venture capitalists. Uh, but like that, that's really amazing. They they reported an 80 million cost uh, outflow and an 88 million uh, inflow. So it's somewhere around seven to 8 million profit that they recorded in the States um, Draga says, Hey DG, do you think that if SIG keeps going at the rate they are, do you think they will show another increase for 2021? I do. Uh, I think revenues will probably be at the, at a similar level, uh, graves because 2021 was huge. The amount of ships that came out in 2021, it felt like there was just like release after release after release. It, I mean, like even look at this, I think they're getting too greedy now, uh, personally, like with that Cuddy steel. I think that was just like a cash grab. I put my opinions on that. Like my initial reaction was like, wow, this is the, the, the no, no spots really excited. I was very excited about it. And then like the more I thought about it, I'm like, wait a second, what's going on here? I looked at that price and that price really killed me. When I saw the 235 for the cutlass steel, I was like, all right, this is ridiculous. And I called them out on it. You know, I was just like, this is going over the edge. Uh, more subscription income. Very interesting. Yes. Crying cow said more, more subscription income. Um, with less vids being produced, absolutely crying cow that, you know, I'm not quite sure if that's, but you know, like you're on top of your game crying cow. So I'm going to take your word for it, but that's, that's interesting. So crying cow says more subscription income, but less videos produced shame on you as well. Sig going to hold you accountable for that as well. But like we're seeing growth all over the place. Um, they're, they're, they really haven't cut down their costs. I mean, like their costs keep going up. It makes sense. I mean, like we got the new Manchester building uh, coming into works in 2022. Uh, the lease for Frankfurt as well. So like you're seeing the costs rise. Uh, they're going to have to continue this revenue grind. Uh, you know, what happens when the ship sales stop? That's another question. Because, uh, you know, Chris did say, hey, eventually when the game comes out, uh, that the, 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 they're going to stop selling ships for money. I don't see how that's possible. I really don't. I mean, most of this is from pledge from pledges. Here's your cost breakdown. Uh, 80.8 million in costs in 20, uh, 2020, uh, 2020 salaries up. Of course, they got more people and, and raises. So they went from 39.7 to 43.9 on salary. 
um, dev costs went down. That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> uh, contracted dev costs also went down. I think you'll start to see that kind of go down a little bit as well. Now that they're bringing in um, more people like with the Toronto building, uh, you'll probably see stuff like that go down. Publishing and marketing uh, went up. That's that's good because, like, honestly, I don't see that that really is doing much. A lot of the marketing that I see is really coming from us. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, if they want to dedicate that fifteen point nine million towards, you know, people like Erad, Execute, Crying Cow Gaming, myself, uh, we're more than happy to take portions of that since we do most of the advertising for Star Citizen. Thank you very much. I'm I'm pretty sure we'd all be very happy about that. Because <laughs> I mean, like when it comes down to it, come on, how, how have you heard about Star Citizen? Not not many ways in, in which traditional legacy marketing have I seen from Star Citizen. A lot of the marketing I've seen and the publishing from uh, Star Citizen that I've seen have come from people like myself from ERAD, Crying Cow Gaming execute with info runners you know this is what i see so i would like that yellow this yellow section right here uh that is for that is earmarked for publishing marketing can you just break that down and give that out to the star citizen content creators that are help pushing out uh basically uh what is what is essentially the biggest marketing you've ever had in your entire life <laughs> hey welcome to the fam ravioli lord really good name really Really good name, Ravioli Lord. Dig it. Uh, Headcount analysis all up, all up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, cumulative net position. So there there you go. There you see it. Uh, there you see the, the, the profit being posted right there, 7.3 million. So on the state side, they're posting their, their profit, man, and they're looking really strong. And I really think that going forward, we're probably going to see more. We're probably going to see a, a bigger profit being posted and posting profits really important because of your financial purchasing power. It's important. Like a lot of people say, well, tech companies uh, normally show losses because that's how tech companies run. Yes, they do. But eventually, if they continue to post loss after loss after loss, it hurts their financial credibility. And therefore, they can't do much in terms of financial buying power purchasing power that's the name of the game as you grow as a ceo as a company you have to be financially healthy and if you're not posting income if you're not posting a profit in a very long time then your purchasing power as a financial uh, company your financial purchasing power does go down and it ends up hurting you as a company and that is why Every time I go over financials for the past couple of years, I've been pounding the table why it's so important that they start posting a profit. And guess what? This year or sorry, not this year, but 2020, they are, they have posted a profit. It is very, very healthy to see finally SIG posting profit. It is so very important. And for those people that, that don't think so, that think that they should, they should run at a net loss forever, have no clue as to finances. None. So it's so I'm glad to see that they finally posted a profit on both sides of the pond, as it were, on the UK side, United States side of things. 2020, good job, Cod Imperium, finally managing that money correctly. Good to see the, the income being posted. Good to see that profit. Hopefully we continue this into 2021 and they have an even a stronger financial position, net position of positive moving forward. And if they do, I think they're just going to be a juggernaut and they will continue to grow at an amazing pace. Uh, thank you, Razor. A little celebratory dance. Razor helping our financial power, our purchasing power here. Thank you so much, Razor. We are giving away an Endeavor Hope, by the way, uh, which is the medical version of the Endeavor on the channel, as well as a Spartan uh, $100 Amazon gift card and other various prizes totaling near $1,000 here in December. Thank you so much. We could not do that without you here. DG360 also growing as well, being financially healthy. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the channel.